Okay, here's a quick tutorial on using Shotcut to create a doodly file that you can overlay over, a, over an image or a, a background or another video, for example. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so what we want to do is create a new doodly file. And we're going to choose a custom file. Now the important thing is, is we want a pure green background. So let's set the green channel to 256. And yes, marker, yes. And then of course we set the file name to Chroma Test. Okay, so. As you can see, we've got a pure green background, but let's change the settings. Now, I don't really like the hand, so let's set it so there is no hand. This is personal preference on, on my part. And apply. So this is not going to be a tutorial on Doodly. Uh, it's, you know, it's going to be a fairly basic thing. What we want is we just, I just want to show you the principles required. So let's create two scenes. That looks pretty good. Let's preview it. There's some grumpy old guy saying text one, text two, and it should say text. Ah, perfect. Okay, so let's go ahead and export that now. Yep, okay, highest quality, 24. That's because it's gonna be my frame rate. Moving into Shotcut now, when you first open Shotcut for the first time, it'll look pretty stark and pretty bleak. To get make it more useful for us, let us add a playlist, add some filters, and add a timeline. So this is gonna make things a lot easier for us. So the playlist is essentially where you drop your assets in that we can then use in our timeline to create our final video. So let's do that right now. So we have the Chroma Test video that was created just before and we have a background. So let's highlight these, drag them across to the playlist and drop them. Okay, so as we can see, the background video started to play. Let's pause that. Okay, so at the moment we don't actually have anything on our timeline, so let's add two tracks. So we're gonna insert a track and we'll insert another track. So on our first track, we want to put the doodly file that we just created. So let's drop that onto there. And then on the second track, so I'm just gonna scroll down to the second track. On our second track, we wanna grab the background video. Now, I'm just gonna show you if I drop this and it's not hard up against the edge, if I drop that a little bit off to the side, you'll notice that it actually, in fact, both of these aren't hard up at, at the zero mark they come in a little bit sort of later. So in order to get around that, we simply grab the asset and push it hard up against the edge there. Then do the same thing for the background. Okay, so again, this is not meant to be a tutorial on all the ins and outs of Shortcut. It really isn't even a tutorial on the best way to achieve a uh, chroma key or pulling a key. It is simply a nice, simple, easy way that you can create a transparent back background doodly. So at the moment, we have our character being drawn in. And what we're going to do is we're just going to get it across to a particularly, whoops, to a particularly difficult uh, image to take the color out. And the reason why this is difficult is it's easy to take that green out there. It's a slightly more difficult to take this one out there because it's sort of, it's mushed up a little bit with the black. So in order to do the, to take out the green, we need to click on the track that we want to work on. 
we want to go to our filters. We want to add a filter and we want to go to all video filters here. The star ones I think are just the favorite ones. And we want to go to chroma key advanced. Okay, now sometimes when you first load it straight in there, it'll it'll be like that. Um, just click invert and it just gets it back. I think it's just a little quirk of the program. So as you can see, it's actually done a fairly good job of the of the key there. And as you can see, as I said earlier, this is a particularly difficult one. If we just go back a frame, that's quite good. You can see there's a little bit of uh, things around the edge. But the next frame there is quite difficult. Okay, so to make this a bit more manageable, what we do is we want to increase the slope there. Okay, and as, as you can see there, it's helping us quite a bit there. Okay, uh, now there are other things you can play with. You can play with the different colors and stuff like that. Again, we're not going to get into that. Uh, that's quite an art form. What we're going to try and do is do the simplest, easiest way to do this as fast and as efficiently as possible. And what we're going to want to do now is add another filter. And we're going to want to do the alpha channel adjust. Okay. And for the mode, we want to shrink soft. So what this does is this shrinks anything. This shrinks the uh, the sort of the edge a little bit and gives it a nice sort of feathering to it. So if I do that, as you can see, it, it's sort of taken a little bit off there. Okay, and so as you can see, that's quite a lot. Maybe about, yeah, maybe about 25, between 20 and 25. I think 20 looks pretty good there. Now, you can still see there's a bit of green. We could fiddle faddle around. There's probably a whole bunch of other filters that could get rid of that. But let's take the easy way out and go to contrast. And let's drop the contrast down to zero. Okay, excellent. And that's sort of pretty much it. So now if we go back to there, we can see that we've got our character there. Now, just to show you what happens if we take the contrast off, we get a little bit of green around there. If we take the alpha ch channel adjust, um, and obviously if we take the chroma key out, it looks like that. Um, again, doesn't make a huge amount of difference until we get to that, to that one there. That That's where it makes a big difference doing these things there. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Okay, now again, to export your file, you just go File, uh, Export Video, select your format, all that sort of stuff. Again, this is not intended to be how to use Shotcut. This is just one way and probably not the best way. This is actually not the way I use. If there is enough interest, uh, we can have a look at doing a more advanced way that actually retains the color information on moving uh, text. So for example, if this text was red, it would, using this technique, everything gets converted to black. Using a more advanced technique, we could actually preserve, preserve all the colors and make it look a lot easier. It is a little bit more advanced. So just for starters, let's do it this way. Hopefully this was of some interest. If you do want to see more advanced methods, uh, do let me know by liking, commenting, and of course, subscribing. Okay, so hopefully this has been of some use to you.